Hello guys! Kumusta kayong lahat? Welcome to another episode of my YouTube channel. Ang today with 0A 2.0. Guys, advance Merry Christmas. And speaking of Christmas, our Amazing. episode has something to do with Christmas. Because for this episode, ipaikita ko sa inyo ang iba't ibang arrangement, decoration, and design na ginawa ko this Christmas season. Wow! Ito'y kaabang-abang na episode, definitely, because marami kayong mahukuhang ideas, marami kayong mahukuhang tips, at marami kayong matututunan at mauunawaan kung paano kayong mag-aayos na inyong sariling space sa bahay man o sa inyong opisina para naman Amazing. maging napaka-therapeutic, napaka-relaxing, napaka-stress relieving ng ating space this Christmas season. Kaya guys, samahan niyo ako sa isang episode na ito at tiniti ako aking sinisiguro guys na katulad ng aking sinabi, marami kayong matututunan dito. So let's start the tour at tingnan natin ang kabuuan ng bahay ni Sir A at tingnan natin ang kanyang mga ginawang Christmas decorations para sa pagdiriwang ng kapastunan. Be influenced. Your imagination is my passion. Amazing. Today, we Sir A. D. Hello everyone. Welcome to our receiving area. Hoping you will enjoy the tour with its shimmering and glittering Christmas decorations. You know guys, after three years, finally, I've got the chance to put into limelight my passion and interest of putting Christmas decorations in my own space. This is the first time that I have arranged some Christmas designs here, considering that this year would be our first Christmas in my simple and humble abode. I guess one of the most exciting parts of this season is the time for me to conceptualize Christmas concept designs. Previously, it has been my practice to think of your ideas and perspectives and to tell you honestly, this year gives me so much excitement and thrills to plot down my own concept and design. Guys, what you will be witnessing are the different designs and arrangements that I patiently and creatively prepared and assembled for almost a month here in my space. I know for a fact that they are just simple, not as fabulous and glamorous as what you are expected. This might not be the grandest, but considering the little budget that I have incurred, the outputs you are viewing on your screens are good enough. I guess. Amazing. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Which design is the fairest of them all? Look at these two designs. They used to be typical wall lamps, but after enhancing them with old artificial flowers and leaves, incorporating some Christmas decorative items, they turned to be attraction in this portion of the receiving area. Guys, I just want to give special attention to this Christmas hanging design. 
You know, this used to be an old native chandelier in my old bedroom that instead of throwing it away, I tried to enhance it by putting some Christmas decorative items. I just spray painted it with gold and really, it is a head turner here, an attraction as you enter our receiving area. If you noticed, I removed some other fixtures and furnitures in the area so that the arrangements that I installed will be given enough space and exposures. I wanted the decoration to be the focus and signature as you enter in. It's not good to see overcrowded arrangements that look unorganized and cluttered. I even limit indoor plants which happen to be main attraction in my previous interior designs. This is the perfect time for our indoor greeneries to enjoy the outside world for three months. Actually, you have already seen some of my arrangements here on my live tutorial videos that I even demonstrated how to assemble them. I really enjoyed doing such tutorial videos and I really appreciated those positive and commendable feedback shared by our friends and viewers. I tried to combine three colors in my designs, gold, silver, and blue as manifested on these arrangements. This is the first time that I use this concept and I realized then that indeed they are perfect combinations. It's so cool and the chemistry is captivating as manifested by the designs that you are witnessing. They are classic yet so classy.
This nook is the best for me. With this kind of arrangement, which is so magnetic and hypnotizing, this is actually an attraction to behold. With the dramatic effect of floor spotlight, this corner is truly a pretty place. Every angle of this nook is the best with this arrangement. Flexing my nativity design with our real Jesus on this major look like creation. Intentionally, I placed it here on top of our center table to be the core of all my decorations here. I included candle holder as a sort of design to add trauma and effect to this space.
Welcome to our dining area. And you can even see some Christmas decors here. I even tried to put some designs in this dining area. Having this kind of atmosphere and ambience here makes me feel so relaxed and stress-free indeed. I feel that every corner is a therapy with a simple yet captivating design Amazing. that I super duper love to see. While I was doing these designs, I had one thing in mind for me to come up with a decorative space where Christmas spirit is overloaded. One reason perhaps is that I've been longing to have this space where I can put on the designs that I have in mind. That is why when chances favored me, I really exerted the efforts to see to it that I would showcase my passion, my drive, my creativity.
How about flexing his favorite spot in the house, our winery? This time, guys, I will not focus on my wine collection. Instead, on the designs and arrangements that I have assembled here. These designs even made this area more welcoming and inviting that really make everyone feel at home to the max. I still remember the time putting some decorations here. I was all alone doing everything. That is why during my live video on that tiring Saturday, I even shouted for help. But sad to say, no one came. I almost gave up doing the designs, but patiently I made it and I am so satisfied and fulfilled about the result. Have you noticed guys that I just maximized our existing old materials, our artificial leaves and flowers, or even the dried ones with our old Christmas decorative items and stops. Long before pandemic, these materials are already available. I just kept them properly in the storage room and they still look good and perfect. The best tip that I can give is, in buying this kind of items, always consider the quality. Do not look for something that is less expensive, but how about issue on durability? Sometimes it pays to consider the price in buying these kinds of materials. Pagmahal, pagtibay, we know that. Admittedly, I got lots of rearrangements of these designs prior to the filming of this episode. It took for me weeks before I finally said, well, it's the final design. Amazing. I always had redesigning and polishing was done every now and then. I just wanted to give you the best view so that the time you will be spending in watching this episode will be all worth it. I want you to get some ideas and tips while watching. I want you to realize that 
arranging designs is but easy if you only give yourself a try. It's not always having new sets of materials to be used in your designs. Even old ones can give you satisfying results. What you need is that you will incorporate the elements of art, expand your creativity, and maximize the artistic side of yourself. At the end of the day, your design is always your best reflection, your trademark, and identity. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. And I hope na nagustuhan nyo ito. Nagustuhan ba nyo guys? So maraming maraming salamat again. And of course, don't forget to like, share, comment, and kindly invite your friends, relatives, colleagues to please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Ang Today with Zer A 2.0 Again, maraming maraming salamat and I'm just hoping na marami kayong natutunan na ideas on how to arrange your place, your space na katulad ng napanood nyo sa episode na ito. Maraming maraming salamat and advance Merry Christmas. Bye-bye!